Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we are going to be reviewing the Stingray Special by Ernie Ball Music Man. Let's do this. This is the Stingray Special from Ernie Ball Music Man. Now I've already done plenty of Stingray Special videos as I used to have a white Stingray Special and I still have the Stingray Special HHBFR from I believe September 2019 with this pink champagne finish. However, I've never really formally reviewed the regular Stingray Special for H, so that's what we're going to do today. The Stingray Special was introduced in, I believe, 2018 as a redesign to the Stingray, the classic Music Man bass that's been around since the mid-70s. Music Man refined the Stingray formula with smoother body contours, an extra fret, an 18-volt preamp, as well as lighter hardware, lighter woods, a roasted maple neck, stainless steel frets, and a neodymium pickup. And that's not even all the changes. There is a lot of differences between the Stingray Special and the regular Stingray. If you'd like to see a video going over those differences, check out my video that I did, I think it was a couple years ago, linked in the description below, where I compare my old 2017 Stingray to the 2018 Stingray Special. This one, I believe, is also a 2018 model, except it isn't a natural finish, and I bought it because it's absolutely gorgeous, and I've always really wanted another Stingray Special 4H, one that I can tinker with a little bit. But let's go over the specs of this particular Stingray Special now. We have an ash body in a natural gloss finish, and a single humbucker pickup. This is a Music Man style neodymium pickup, and that is paired to an 18-volt three-band preamp. We have a master volume control, as well as a treble, mid, and bass control. The bridge is the revised Stingray Special lightweight bridge. This is different from the regular Stingray bridge, which is a bit bigger and has a bit more mass to it. This bridge has a much smaller footprint, and I believe is a bit lighter weight. The saddles on the bridge are also hollow as another slight weight reduction method. And of course, you can't talk about the body of this bass without the signature Stingray pick guard, the oval pick guard. Now, this is not interchangeable with the earlier regular Stingrays, as this bass has an extra fret on this neck, and let's talk about that neck now. This is a 22 fret roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fingerboard. We have a 34 inch scale, 11 inch radius, and a 41.3 millimeter nut width. These are stainless steel frets as well to add additional longevity to the instrument. The nut is the signature compensated nut that we see on most of the modern Stingrays. And down at the other side of the neck, we have the truss rod wheel, another modern Stingray signature, which I absolutely adore. In my opinion, this is the best way to adjust your truss rod. And then moving up to the headstock, this is a roasted maple headstock with the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Special logo. And we have four lightweight Music Man tuners as well. Now let's go ahead and turn this bass around. Around back, there's really not much to see here other than the beautiful wood grain and the 18 volt battery cavity because the controls are routed through the front underneath the control plate. This is a revised and contoured neck heel to allow for easier upper fret access and it absolutely works. And then moving up to the neck, we can see the back of the roasted maple neck with the signature Music Man gunstock oil wax coating on it. That's absolutely a breeze to play. It's so comfortable and smooth. And then moving up to the headstock, we can see the back of these lightweight Music Man tuners. And speaking of lightweight, how much does this Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Special weigh? This particular example comes in at 7.8 pounds. That's right, this bass is sub 8 pounds, and that's absolutely awesome. The only Stingray that I have that's lighter is this one right here, the Fretless, which comes in at around 7.2 pounds. But that is a bit of an anomaly. This is an incredible instrument, though and very well weighted. But now, since it's 2023 and I am adding a little bit more depth to my reviews, including a new amp that we have here with the Ampeg RB110, not sponsored by them, just mentioning that we've switched out the orange amp, and a new interface as well with the Universal Audio Volt 276, we are also going to look at the balance of instruments a bit more. So how does the Stingray Special balance? In the lap, 
you just get a slight bit of neck dive. It's not something you really have to fight, because just the body is so lightweight and the instrument is so lightweight in general. With a strap, you have absolutely no neck dive in the lap. Standing up, we have absolutely no neck dive whatsoever. This bass is balanced perfectly. And finally, how much does the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Special 4H cost? Well, that depends on the finish. I believe the finishes vary from between $25 to $2,700, with the fancier ones being a bit more expensive. They actually do not produce the natural finish anymore, and I purchased this second hand. However, they still make the black with maple, the classic Stingray combination, except it's a roasted maple neck and the hardware is all blacked out. And that, I believe, comes in at $2,500. These bases do come with the excellent USA Music Man case, which is extremely robust. You really don't need much packing material and you just ship the case and, I mean, you can drop it off a cliff, essentially. Don't do that. Don't drop Stingrays off cliffs. <laughs> And now, I know you're wondering, well, what does this bass sound like? You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So that is the Stingray Special 4H. In my opinion, I think they have improved beautifully on the Stingray formula and made the Stingray a much more, I guess, versatile instrument when it comes to bouncing between genres. The pickup, even though it is a more powerful neodymium pickup, is a bit less harsh. You have a much smoother and rounder sound, just like you have a rounder body here. Everything is made for player's usability and player comfort, and this is an absolutely stellar instrument. I reviewed my Stingray BFR HH five claws out of five because, I mean, again, these things are just beautifully crafted. And spoiler alert, we're probably looking at the same score here. <laughs> So what we have is a single humbucker here with a three-band preamp. We have a treble control, a mid control, and a bass control. And with Stingrays, even though I totally misinterpreted the Sterling Ball video, I like to take the preamps down all the way, see what it sounds like with everything cut, and then start building up my sound from there. Here's what this bass sounds like with everything all the way down. <laughs> Yeah, not a very powerful tone as we are cutting essentially all the frequencies. However, once we start building it up, we can see where we can take this bass. Now keep in mind in our new setup, we have a way less aggressive compression, so we'll be able to really tell the differences with the EQ settings. Let's start playing with this now with the bass control and bring that up to center, leaving the treble and the mids cut. <laughs> and now let's take the bass control uh, all the way up, see what that does. A very fat and full tone with the Stingray Special with just the bass control boosted. Let's take the bass control down to center now and then play with our treble control. We're gonna bring that up to center as well, leaving the mids cut. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and now what should we do? Uh, let's take the treble up all the way, why not? Let's see what that sounds like with the bass centered and the mids cut. bit on the bright side, but that is what you get with the treble control boosted all the way and the bass centered. Let's center the treble control now, and we will bring our mids up to a 50% boost, keeping the bass and treble centered. <laughs> You definitely get that signature Stingray character that you can dial in. However, at center, you definitely get a less aggressive Stingray tone versus what you get with the traditional Stingray. Now, I will be doing a separate comparison video with this bass and my Stingray Classic side by side, so you can hear the differences between the classic Stingray tone and the more modern Stingray tone out of the Stingray Special. But let's center the preamp one more time, and uh, let's just play it finger style once more, and then we'll play it with the pick. And I'm going to do one other thing. Let's boost the bass control about 50%, leaving the mids and the treble control centered. Very nice, very nice indeed. So nice that I'm actually going to keep it like that with my pick that I just dropped. Here's what this bass sounds like with a pick. this bass. Now I'm going to center the EQ one last time and let's give this bass a slap. <laughs> Such great tone out of this. I'm gonna slap it once more. Let's cut the mids about 50% and boost the bass about 50%. <laughs> I'm loving it, loving it. Well, let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass. Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Special 4H. I adore this bass. I absolutely love it. The Stingrays and the Stingray Specials are just some of my favorite instruments, hence why I now have three of them. Yay, bass. <laughs> Again, I did mention we will be doing a comparison video with the Stingray Classic, as well as the Dark Ray. Don't worry, we are going to be having a Dark Ray review coming in the near future, and I am very excited to check out that bass, as well as compare it to my other Stingray flock. But on to the Stingray Special 4H. What more can be said about this bass that hasn't been said already a million times? It is an absolute improvement over the regular Stingray in so many ways, in my opinion. It's lightweight, it's flexible, it's powerful, it has great features like stainless steel frets, a roasted maple neck. Uh, it still maintains the same quality finish of the neck that you know and love with the USA Stingrays. The construction is top tier, the fretwork is excellent. I have absolutely no complaints about this bass, and I absolutely love it. So what am I going to rate the Stingray Special 4H? Ugh! I'm gonna rate this bass... Five claws out of five. I love it. It's perfect. My only one minor gripe is a slight dead spot around the ninth fret. It's not terrible by any means and actually pretty hard to notice, but just wanted to mention that. Other than that though, I absolutely adore this bass and we will be doing maybe a little bit of a mod project with this particular instrument. And I am very excited to go on that journey with all of you in the very near future. But that will do it for our Stingray Special 4H review. Let me know what you think about the Stingray Special 4H from Ernie Ball Music Man down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Special 4H. And as always, until we groove again.